So I'm going to be making potato salad. Um, I haven't made potato salad in, oh my gosh, over a year, maybe longer. Um, it's way after supper. It's, it's getting late. And I'm making this for tomorrow's dinner. It's going to sit in the refrigerator overnight. And I'm going to be doing something on the grill. And I'm also going to attempt to do a video on that. So this is going to be this one of the sides that we're going to have for tomorrow's dinner. So anyways, uh, this recipe is my significant other's mother's recipe. And i um, slightly changing it just because, I'll explain in a minute. But I will say what her recipe is. But I had to slightly change it because um, I kind of didn't have enough of the ingredients and, and I didn't have exactly what I needed. But anyways, I went ahead and I boiled my eggs and I boiled my potatoes because, just to make a quicker video. But the recipe calls for six Idaho or Yukon gold potatoes and I had I know some people that make potato salad on a regular might cringe on this but I had red potatoes left over and I wasn't gonna waste them and you know going up to the store and buying different potatoes the prices at the grocery store mm -mm, no I, I use those babies up so anyways, um, I also, I, I had a leftover onion from something we had yesterday, so I, I'm using that. Um, it should still be okay, I guess, Yukon, or not, I'm sorry, yeah, or, or the Idaho, um, uh, holds up better, I guess, I, I don't know don't think it matters as long as you don't overcook your potato because it can turn into mush hopefully I didn't when you are boiling them now my red potatoes they weren't that big so I just used up what I had uh, I don't even remember how many I had so that's why I have to kind of vary from this recipe it is what it is. Sometimes when you make something, you just, you kind of eyeball stuff. Um, also, with um, this recipe, you can double it, you can triple it. You know, if you're going to a get together um, or if you're making it for your family, if you have more people, you can, out, you, you can also cut it in half. You can do whatever you want. But and I'll put it on pause at times. I do that a lot. That's what I love about pre-recorded videos. Again, I am not good at editing. I got my dog here clapping on the the floor. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. But anyways, um with my potatoes, I'm just going to cut them. I I got everything like right here. I shouldn't have done that, but um one of the things that I made a mistake on, I thought I had more Miracle Whip. This does call for Miracle Whip. Some people use mayonnaise. I'm not a mayonnaise fan at all, um, but this certain recipe calls for Miracle Whip. I thought I had more Miracle Whip than I had. I was not going back up to the store. Um, I wasn't going to do it. So hopefully we will see. Hopefully I have enough and it is not a dry potato salad. There's nothing worse than a dry potato salad. So we'll see, hopefully. But you, you just cut these up in bite size, uh, you know, as big as you, you want them. Some people like them, um, you know, bigger. Other people don't. I even some, seen some people, they... They put them through like a, a grinder thing. I don't want 
mushed uh, potato salad. I mean, if I wanted that, I would just have mashed potatoes. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I might cut them up a little bit smaller. Like I said, it's been, it's been a while since I made this. But I will put it on pause. You don't need to see me cut it up. I'm going to uh, cut the rest of these up just in bite-sized pieces and throw them over in my bowl. Alrighty, so we have that cut up. And you can make it smaller if you'd like, bigger, however you want. No big deal. So now I'm going to cut up, uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and do the egg. I'm going to save one of the eggs, but no rhyme or reason, I guess. Oops. I mean, I don't want to butcher them. I guess I should just throw that in, too. I'm really butchering this egg. Didn't say I was a perfectionist here. butchered those eggs but that's all right so it says two or I'm sorry three to four boiled eggs but I put only put three in kind of wanted to save that other one to do something but um, don't know don't know how that's gonna work and then it says a small onion this is gonna be Kind of bigger than a, a small onion, I would think, because using the potatoes that I used, I'm just not sure. And I, I'm just not sure if I'm going to have enough Miracle Whip. I'm just not. I might have dry, dry potato salad but anyways I'm not gonna put all this onion in there I'm not um, and I'm just I'm gonna cut it up I mean not fine fine but I don't like big chunks that's just me ah. and I know you guys out there that are like professionals you're probably cringing at this but I'm not a professional so and I use my chopper a lot when I cut so <laughs> well that just didn't work very well and I I like things pulled like close to me so and I'm kind of reaching stretching I always say that my setup is like really horrible when I do um, I don't want you no know, skinny skin stuff whenever I do any type of cooking or any type of videos like this I mean we can have bigger chunks in there I guess some people might like bigger chunks of onions. I, I don't. So, I guess your preference. We'll put it on pause while I do this. You don't need to watch me do that either. Okay. So, I went ahead and just put some onion in there. Um, I used about maybe half of that. And then put the rest 
away and I'm going to use it for an omelet in the morning. And then as you can see over here, I attempted to make some slices, but the yolk kept trying to come out. So to put on top afterwards, thought maybe, you know, presentation. Um, yeah, my egg wasn't cooperating, but anyways. So now we're going to get to the celery and it calls for it with this recipe it doesn't say how much celery um it's preference i'm not one to really like celery i'm not but anyways and i'm going to cut it up in smaller pieces because i don't really care for celery so <laughs> Some people like big old chunks of celery. Not me. Now, I have to say, my sister, she makes great potato salad. She really does. And this also calls for, um, and I am making these really, really small. <laughs> Um, she, it, it calls for celery seed as well, and it was kind of a, a joke because I couldn't find my celery seed to begin with, and it's pretty, pretty expensive. And I called her and I said, do you always put celery seed in your potato salad? Um, and she's like, well, one time I didn't because I didn't have it. But yeah, I always put it in there. And I always have two. But celery seed is something else that, uh, you know, preference, I guess. Some people do, some don't, don't know. But for this recipe, it does call for it. And I know, you know, ooh, throwing it everywhere. I'm just throwing this in the bowl. Um, everybody makes potato salad differently. Some, uh, they absolutely make it with, they make it with mayonnaise. Um, now when I make deviled eggs, I know some people make it with mayonnaise. I make it with Miracle Whip. I just do not, um, Care for mayonnaise. Now, there's some uh, like dipping sauces. I'm gonna be making something else. I don't know if I'm gonna do it tonight or not. It's it's like an appetizer. Uh, Cause I'm getting kind of tired, but it really sounds good. But for the dipping sauce, it calls for mayonnaise. So I mean, I do use mayonnaise for cooking. This might be all the celery I'm gonna put in this. Like I said, it does not say how much celery. It's just basically to your liking. So. And I think that's all I'm going to put in there. I think that's about it. Yeah. We'll put a little bit more because there's other people eating this. Bless their hearts. <laughs> like I said, I haven't made this for so long. Okay, that's going to be enough. And those are bigger chunks too, so. Okay. So I'm going to clean up this little mess here, and then we'll be right back. So I went ahead and started on the next step, and I forgot to pause this. Um, so it calls for two or three sweet pickles, sliced medium, or again, however you like. So some of these pickles are big, some are small. We're just going to get a, a couple out. And again, I, 
I'm just going to kind of dice them up. I mean, I just don't want, you know, big old chunks of something in there. That pickle's kind of funky. Should have just got my little dicer out of it. It made it a lot easier. Oh, that's how their professionals do it, but again, I'm not a professional. Oh, come on. This one doesn't even want to cut. Goodness, I keep hitting my nail. I'm going to chop my nail off. I've already messed up my nails when I was putting uh, my floor down. It was worth it, though. going to be enough or are we going to need one more? It says two or three. I think we'll go ahead and try to find another small one. There's a huge one here. And another big one. Here's a small one. Grabbing that nail again. I didn't get that very well. Good. Put that in there. Now it says you to add a little bit of the sweet pickle juice in here. So we'll just dump a little bit in there. Just a little bit. And then we'll add all these sweet pickles. Now, I am going to, again, clean up this whole mess. Alrighty. So, there we go. We got that. Now, it says to add salt and pepper to taste. So, I don't know. I'm not going to taste it. I'm just going to... Hopefully that's not too much. Some salt. Maybe I should have put the Miracle Whip in first. Don't know. And one fourth teaspoon of celery seed. But to be very careful with the celery seed because it could be overpowering. Overpowering. Can't even talk tonight. 
that's nothing new. I'm just going to be sprinkling some a, a little bit. I don't want to put too much. Alrighty. That's going to be it for now. All right, let's go ahead. And for the Miracle Whip, it calls for two cups of Miracle Whip and mustard, one half teaspoon of mustard. But it says to, uh, you do it to preference just going to kind of eyeball it. It says be careful with the mustard. And shake this up. Um, you don't want too much. Because it can be overpowering. I can't say that word right now. Just mix up. And then just keep adding as you go with the Miracle Whip. And you can add um, more salt and pepper. You can add more of the sesame. Well, you can add more of anything. Ooh, I'm really making a mess. Some people even put paprika like right in it. But and I, I did not cook the potatoes too long because they're not turning to mush. That's a good thing. And if you wanted to, if you're taking this somewhere, you could put it in a different bowl and then add it to the bowl you're taking it in so you're not making a hot mess like I am. You definitely would want to taste it to see if it would need anything. I want to clean up the sides of this bowl. I'm just going to put the rest of the mayo, not mayo, Miracle Whip, that I have in there. I think I might just have enough. I will put this on pause again while I clean up, mix this up, and we will come back because, again, my setup is really horrible and I need to pull it closer to me.
Alrighty. So now I'm just going, I just cleaned it up a little bit. So now I'm just going to put my little eggy things here that just would not cut right. Just going to put on top. And add a little paprika to the top. And there you go, potato salad. <laughs> so I did not need a bowl that big. And so we'll have it for tomorrow. Um, I did take a taste of it, and it tastes good. I don't think it needed any more. It may be a little more Miracle Whip, but it tastes good. That's all that matters. Um, like I said, it's been years since I've made, well, at, at least a year since I've made, maybe a little longer since I've made potato salad. I just buy it at the store. Um life has been crazy so I just haven't ha t took the time to make it so anyways that's the recipe um, like I said people make make it all sorts of different ways but um, this is a good recipe it really is um, you don't even you don't have to put that uh, uh, celery seed in at all if you don't want to um, celery seed is not cheap, by the way. It's not. But, um, anyways. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we're gonna have it tomorrow night. My eggs look funky on top because they wouldn't cut. But, it is what it is. We got, we got a batch of potato salad that will feed us. And it should go with what I'm making tomorrow just fine. So, We'll, we're going to do some grilling, and we'll, we'll catch up tomorrow night.